The 1 0 pitch to Houston. Line down the left field line. That's going to get down for a base hit. Rolling into the left field corner. Houston rounds first and is on his way to second with the leadoff double to start the ball game. Regardless of who's led off and who's been in the two spot. Bunted. Only play will be to first. Tellier does his job moving the runner 90 feet away. Chance to contribute right away. There you go. Or if Virginia gets out of this situation. And there you go. Puts it in play. Could be two. To the back for one. The turn is true. Now they really have something to cheer about. Just the battle you would expect between these two. A full count. And the payoff pitch is swung through. Foul pitches off that are great pitches. And live for another day like that. Gives you an opportunity to do this. Scalds it. And it is off the shortstop's glove. <laughs> Lifts this into right. Here are this week's featured softball games. Coverage begins Wednesday night at 6 Eastern. This guy works here. This guy works there. Let's move this part around. There you go. This guy works here. That's sure going to split the gap and go all the way to the base of the wall. Williams is digging for second. In a hitter's count, 3-1. Ball four. I'm not even. Here comes a 3-2, two, two out offering. And that is inside. It actually hits the batter. His payoff pitch. Inside ball four, that'll mean a run. Houston draws a bases loaded walk. Bases full for Wake Forest. Uh oh. And he does drive this. Out of here to left and into the bleachers. A grand slam for Adam Tellier. Shades of his first at bat to open the offensive campaign for Wake Forest. And a statement made by the Deacons in inning number two. Behind in the count, two and one. Fastball up in the strike zone. We'll see it here in a second. And man, did he make him pay right there. Kay's got to get ahead in the count. Did not. Up in the zone. That's belt high. Those balls go a long way when you throw the ball right there. That's a very, very high <laughs> pop-up. And Ferentz scheduled to hit. Put in play. Backhanded try, and that's going to trickle away from Tellier. Three doubles, five driven home, and he has reached base in seven of his last eight. Hey, it may be eight of the last nine. Knocking up some chalk down in the right field corner is Ferentz. Dedewick motors around, and Virginia is on the board with an RBI double from the new UVA backstop. Here's a preseason All-American that shares that distinction, and he hits this breaking ball well into center. Tracking it as a center fielder, Williams won't be able to get to it. Ferentz held, but now will be waved around, and Virginia has scored a couple. In the bottom of the second, Ethan Anderson, a contributor. And that's, that's college baseball, and that's why we love it. 2-2 two -two put in play. That's going to sneak on by and into right field. Here comes Anderson. The throw is up the line, and though he spins around and rolls toward home plate, he has enough time to recover and touch it successfully with Virginia's third run. Three runs, five hits for UVA. Mm. Still swinging. That's a solid single into left center. Bobby Whalen has a base knock. Loves to pound that cutter and fastball in. Again, not enough right there. Salki sends it right back up the box. Virginia with in one as O'Farrell will score. Two out noise in this second inning. Who knows where this is going to end up? Ford, center field. It'll one hop the fence. And Virginia has answered the five spot in the top of the second inning with six of their own to take the lead in the bottom of the frame. The ball didn't even hit the wall on a fly. The ball's got to be caught. we got to be playing a little bit deeper right there, I believe. Ford with RBIs 25 wow, and 26. Four straight games from March 5th to the 9th in which he homered. His newfound power has been one of the storylines this year in the country without a strikeout. This goes to the backstop. 4-12 mark he brought in tonight. God about This is tight. He'll get out of the way, providing a lane for Ford to make the 90-foot journey home with the seventh run of the night for UVA. And 
Godbout looks at the 3-1 low to Jacob Ferentz. Well, we'll have to wait. Throw over to first. That He's, man got him. It did. This is an absolute crazy game so far. Look at that tag right there by Kurtz. Could not be more proud of both of them. Runner moving, and the ball put in play by Reinish. That's going to be a long run in center field, but able to reach up and make the play is Whalen. Showing his range. Here's the return throw from O'Farrell. That's close at first. Just varying your times, holding it. Some of their starting pieces in order to get early wins in this series. So everything's on the table. And here's a liner. More runs are going to be on the table. Around third is the runner king. And Wake Forest has trimmed the lead to one. And that did hit. You have a 50-50 chance to reach base. The other three, the three aboard. And they're going to be on the move as this is going to be beyond Didowick in left field and all the way to the base of the wall. How about Ballestero? He was right on the hills of Williams. He will eventually be held late stop sign at third base. So they will be on second and third. If we keep this going, it's going to be a football score before it's over with. Fantastic two strike swing. But then again, base is loaded, three ball count, nowhere to put him. He struck out here. Shocking. Yeah. He just missed it. It is swung on and missed. You're going to see a lot of scores like this on a Friday night. Ground ball to third. That is inside the line. And it means another double for Jacob Ferentz. Josh Gunther, let's not overlook it, out of the Wake Forest pen. It's going to skip away, and it means a runner at third base. So this outcome is still in jeopardy. This is up the chute and into right field. It's a bouncer here that's over his head. O'Farrell charging. Oh. Angelo Tonus an inning plus under his belt now. And it's going to split the Virginia defenders. And King all the way around a third. They are on the corners with one down for Wake Forest. Well, they took that. Extra half hour to prep the field after the delay. Much needed. Hanson to second for one. Here's the turn. It is not in time, and that means a run for the Deacons. Make it 9-7 Wake Forest on the ground ball. 1-1. This is over the plate, but it is served out into right field for a base knock. Slamming on the brakes is Wene out at second base. Mm. He went around. Nothing crap about this lefty. Really good stuff. Pedro Martinez would do. Moving now. That change is on cue. It is instead a called strike three. Clear that it's now in the hands of, uh, of this bullpen. He believes the pieces are there to hang on to this lead. How about this diving catch in left field? From Harrison wow. Didowick. Tailing away from Harrison Didowick, and he puts the leather on it. First pitch to Merrick Houston, and he was waiting to line it right up the middle for a base hit. A one out knock. Pulls the string. A pair of doubles in the second and third innings, respectively. Two for two days. Instead of doing the hitting this time, it's the other way around. Point in your career. You know both these coaches very well. Runner on the move and not on Friday. Right. Here's the 2-1. That is hit well. Keeps carrying. Reaching up and stabbing it is Williams in left field. He's done everything after being inserted into the lineup tonight. Nice defensive plays in the outfield. Wow. Not may have taken one away from Ethan Anderson. It's a home run. What a play. Here's the 2-2 his direction. These are still the only two teams in the ACC to claim a title. And both of them believing this could be another year. Things about him as a human. Down into the left field corner. That's going to be off the wall. One hops it, and they will be on second and third by the time the dust settles here. There is a double. Let's just play it like a tight two-run game and keep it there. Williams retired. He swings through this, and that's a first tonight. Now they will actually give him the free pass with first base empty. Skips away. It's going to mean a run. Could mean a sizable lead for Wake Forest. 
if it falls his way. This is the one. Campshire gets the punch out. And there's the hitting tool again. Lines this into right center field, and that's another base knock for the guy who's done it this past weekend. Here's a liner up the middle, and Whalen, who is making contributions after coming over to UVA, singles again. Mm. Breaking pitch on the 3 2, and Salki. You know, his nephew getting it done at a high level. College baseball in the Commonwealth of Family Affairs, Dad. Side ball four. If the pain is followed by the jubilation as it was in the midweek, oh. here's more pain, but it will be a Virginia run. And an RBI. Solid base hit now with Ty for Ference, but instead this is straight up the elevator shaft. Third baseman dances around and does not make the catch. See those steps he's taking backwards? That's when you get in trouble. There will be a free pass. Ball four, Virginia leads. Throughout the night, how many outs are on the board? Two. And it continues with two down. Griff O'Farrell, another base knock into left, and Virginia extends its advantage. And what a crazy baseball game. Popped up, right field. That's a ball. That will be. That's a ball. Well, it looked like it was going to be the elusive third out of the inning, yep. but you said it. We had it's a, a ball balk. called. It's a ball. They're going to keep the inning going where you just go for the touchdown. With the middle infielders moving toward the bag, enough space vacated for Wayland to send this into the outfield. And Virginia's impact sixth simply grows. See what I'm saying? So. It's an awesome situation for the offense. <laughs> Waylon able to come back and redo. Boy, did that work out. Key, key guy for the Cavaliers throughout the weekend, throughout it. This is real stuff right here, no doubt about it. Well, injured a little bit earlier, lifted from the game in the contest. So you saw Hawk, who was in his place just a moment ago, for those finding us a little later on this Friday night. Trying for what would be a third zero in the ballgame defensively. They'll have it. Jack O'Connor. Gives you a little extra on the back side of this punch out to drop the curtain on the frame. Aside from that second and sixth inning. Mm. Takes care of Ford here. Wow. Not much happening right now, though. Takes care of two really good hitters. O'Connor's touching 97. The strikes. On a hop. And from the edge of the outfield grass, a play made by Houston. Wants to get certified and. That's real stuff up, up in the strike zone. Going to require a little housekeeping to make sure it is completed from the Virginia catcher. We'll finish this next inning, but that is real stuff right there. What can you tell us about Gervais? Again. Ooh. Well, right now, Ferentz stealing the spotlight as he puts that in the bleachers to make it 16-10 Virginia. Solo shot for the UVA catcher. He doubles his home run total on the year. That ball was absolutely hammered. Absolutely hammered. Got out of here at 107 miles an hour. It's an off-speed pitch at 83 miles an hour. Down five late. And the way O'Connor's throwing the ball right now, they're probably saying, okay, we need to save some arms for Saturday and Sunday. It is a series. In the end, you're going to play some of these. Can you come out on top? Long run for the center fielder, King. He'll make the play. and That'll force Anderson to retreat. Now it's four-year schools transferring in. There are the prospects. Top 33 have six representatives in this weekend series and works to Bobby Whalen. Goes the other way with this. And it'll be secured for the third out of the inning by Nelson on the road to Omaha last year. So he has handled this spot very well. Gets a bouncer up the middle from Nelson that is gloved by the second baseman. The God bounce throw will be just behind the arrival. No, I know he was very, very high on him. First round pick of the Boston Red Sox. Kyle Teal, former Virginia backstop. Really recognize that. You have to clean that up tomorrow. Tellier into left. That shut it down. Oh, 
Breaking ball. Put in play. Reaching over his shoulder, Willie Mays style. Godbout makes the catch, and that's the ball game.